It's the middle of May 2015 and another Dark Snow Project science expedition to Greenland is taking shape. Thanks to your support, we've built an organization and, and a global brand awareness about the effect of increasing wildfire on darkening the Arctic where uh, temperatures are climbing at about twice the rate as they are elsewhere on our planet. I was moved to hear that the first four months of this year are the warmest first four months of a year on record and we're poised, it's very likely that El Nino uh, will lock in sufficiently this year to uh, bring a, probably the warmest year on record and with that increasing wildfire uh, this is one signature of, of uh, climate warming. So we've got a, a field plan uh, to go to Greenland and it's exciting uh, building on your support uh, that we've received support from a well-known foundation that's covering most of our costs for this uh, coming, uh, like less than a month from now, departure to Greenland. And so we're just now reaching out to supporters um, to ask for that last um, amount, which will cover uh, the travel of one of our journalists to a science meeting in, um, in, in Greenland uh, with a lot of important people that we will record and amplify their message uh, through our, our growing media platform. Uh, we're also after funds for a tent um, that'll serve as our science tent uh, because actually the bulk of, of what we're after, what's remaining is, is funds to uh, position our camp on the ice uh, because we're, we're starting the first month on land and we'll be flying a UAV up and down glacier uh, tracking the, the snow line moving up uh, the glacier and, and what it leaves behind is this, this dark bare ice and, th and that gets darker through the, the season. Uh, by July we want to move the camp up onto the ice and so we'd be closer to snow line once again and track it as it, as it goes further up. Uh, tracking it with uh, these uh, UAV flights each, each uh, day that the weather is cooperating. So that's it. And we really couldn't have done it without this type of support. So. Thanks for our supporters, and uh, if you can, help us make this on-ice camp happen this summer 2015.